Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Pantras of the Mighty Mix Power and I cannot overstate how amazing a cool juice is. I just got mine straight from the freezer, it is very close to the zero temperature, it almost began freezing, but not quite yet, and it tastes so well! It's just an incredible discovery I made recently that the cooler the juice is, the better. Actually, my recent, I mean like a couple of years ago, but anyway, this is just so amazing. Anyway, after this ridiculous intro, I would like to invite you all to watch what is probably going to be my last video of the Amoeba playthrough from Endless Space, obviously. Well, coming to a conclusion, I'm going to stop my timer just to be safe and sure and whatever. But yeah, fun times behind of us, fun times ahead of us, because Judging by the by the responses I have been receiving, I love you all so much, guys. You are amazing audience. It is an honor to provide those videos for you. Even you, you don't even well. Some of you don't even care about how bad I am. You simply still seem to enjoy my work, and this is the biggest blessing I could ever get. Thank you. And I completely forgot what I wanted to say before. <laughs> Amnesia for the lose. But anyway, oh, I remember, judging by the response that I have been getting for, from those videos, which is the best response that I had since Heroes of Might and Magic 6 Beta, and before that, Red Alert 3, I think I'll probably do more of this kind of videos in the future, but I'll talk about that after this playthrough actually reaches a conclusion, not before. You know, as Northern Lion likes to say, we will cross that, bri that bridge when we come to it. No reason to do this anytime sooner. And that was some awesome battle, at least on my side, not so much on Kravitz's side. They need to make a bigger fridge just to be able to compete with me. You know what, I would actually be love to be able to just give them a couple of my units so that we would have some <laughs> better fights to showcase, because right now, yeah, <laughs> they don't really stand a chance against me. Now, let me demonstrate the taste of this juice. I open the box, slowly, moving counterclockwise, I uncover the very secrets hidden inside this beautiful white greenish themed box of juice, and then I take a sip. Swallow it, and take another one. Mmm. Juice. Love you so much. Then I close the box, set it aside just so I can reach for it again in a second. This was the worst advertisement I have ever done. Not like I have ever done any advertisements whatsoever, but still, that nah, was pretty lame. <laughs> but still, I hope you got the impression of how tasty this uh, juice is. He show a dead! Finally! Let us celebrate a genocide of yet another species! This is amazing! And they already have non byronic shell, this is kinda awesome. So why don't we speed this up? I'm going to go for this thing, this... F no, not this thing, the other thing. And this thing, and... The other thing of other things. And definitely some happiness, because I want them to be as happy as possible, as fast as possible. Because, obviously, I want the, to increase the tax rate. <laughs> this is the only reason I want my people to be happy. I just want the tax rate to be higher. I'm a bad person like that. So, you, my hero, go to Kane. You go... Yeah, you wish. <laughs> You're going to... Rea be reassigned with some of the other Nephilims that are at the ready, and then... You will join my main hero in his efforts to dominate the Kravis Empire. A single large beast, I am, maybe it's large bishop, oh no, it's Beast War M Template S. Beast War? Oh, I, go. I was for the sense of for bishop because I was always too dumb to notice that I actually can see what this, uh, what the entire name of the ship is. Yeah, I feel like that. 
Then again, and then again, I noticed that something that I believe Total Big Squad said is so very true. The way for you to achieve success at YouTube is, I, as a video gamer anyway, is to either be horribly bad at something or incredibly good. <laughs> and this has to be true of like 95% of the time. Does it always work? For example, Dodger, I don't think she is neither good or bad at the end of space. Excuse me, dead space. She's good, but nothing more than that. And so, her playthrough is just so enjoyable. This is the first ever playthrough that I enjoy watching that has scare cam on it. Mostly, uh, mostly be, probably mostly because Dodger is actually a woman rather than a man, so I don't get any of my androphobia <laughs> kicking in. I just don't really care. And it's fun. I mean, seeing how she interacts with her viewers is kind of nifty. I have to admit. Also, her commentary is decent as well. Decent? I'm a little, being a little bit harsh, I think. Whatever, whatever. Now, can I increase the awesomeness of my ships? Maybe I can, maybe I can't, but more to the point, I don't care. That's right, I don't care. Take that in your face, game! Don't know what I meant right there. So, the end is turning. End is turning, the turn is ending. And it's starting as well, might as well, <laughs> why not? And I'm thinking about what to comment on while the turn is waiting for it to finish. I don't really know. A couple of useless rocks have been discovered. Wow, I can do this any day. And when did you get those abilities? Oh, because I got the label, that's right. So, more happiness. Do you really care about that? Not really. I do care about efficient schooling. No. can always go for that and never lose. You, dear sir, are going to trade apples for elephants. This is probably an indicative of being an incredibly awesome trader. Zane, I thought I got rid of you in the past. Oh well, we'll have to just queue up some more research, improvement stuff and all of this nonsense that I don't care not one bit about because I'm going to win anyway. Well, you know what? My OCD is simply too powerful for me to resist. I mean, it's just like, has, has, has to upgrade everything! Yes! Go! Upgrade! Boy, build some improvements! Yes! So that's pretty much what happens with me. Every time. And every time. So, excuse me, I drew it all over my face. It's kinda horrible, horribly looking, but... Whatever, I also went for some random upgrades because I don't really care what I go for <laughs> at this point of the game. As I explained before, you finished some kind of upgrade that was not important at all because I'm going to win anyway. But might as well queue up some more stuff because, hey, it's me, Mario. By the way, am I the only person in the galaxy who never really liked Mario games? I mean, seriously, I didn't like any of them. Maybe I even hate... Well, hate is bad. I simply didn't like him. Not one of them. <laughs> My subscription rate is dropping so fast right now. I can feel it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But still, am I the only person on the planet? Seriously, Mario games are so insanely popular. I don't really get it. And... Yeah, that's just it. I don't get it. How are they so popular? Oh, and they just apparently wasted movement because I cannot make this move in the stand. That's kind of pathetic, isn't it? Anyway, still unable to conquer the system. Kirby's definitely have a large fleet. Even if it's weak, then it is definitely large. So I'll just end the turn here. Don't ask. Don't ask. I, I just simply... No, don't. Don't even... Don't you even start. I'm going to drink hundreds. This is a more sensible solution. Mmm. Wow, so tasty. To make it even better, this juice has no additional sugar in it. And it is fueled with 11 extra vitamins. And also it has some magnesium added to it as well. Oh, sorry, this is classic, not the one with I meant magnesium. So it doesn't have any extra magnesium. Take that, you juice producers. Still, it is quite a tasty. Now, can I 
save some movement by going to design directly. How do I? How does one do that again? I don't really remember. Like that. Like that. Okay. And yes, I did save one point of movement. Take that, you game. I'm awesome. I know how to calculate distance better than you do, though now that I think of it, probably the game would itself just do the very same trick I just did. Whatever. You two Netherlands go to separate fleet so just so I can assign you to this hero. Oh very good. And Dandy now I can retrofit you all because hey why not? I have the money and I have the need for it to be retrofit. So yeah. Hey! Did you not retrofit? Apparently not, and you're not going to do so. How annoying. So... <sighs> okay, um... You move back to Kings, just so you are safely stationed in there. You cannot do anything while this... I actually want to call this woman names right now, because she is madly annoying. Can you just roll over and die? It would be much appreciated. Oh, if you don't, then at least bring some kind of better fleet with you, because, honestly, really, I want my viewers to be entertained, they're not going to be entertained by repetitive, extraordinary easy battles. I mean, look at that, I have five of those ships, you have three of your ships. Who you think is going to win, huh? Who do you think? Shame on you, Admiral Tubanti, Ubantri, whatever, Urbantri. So, yeah, yeah. Well, didn't turn out too well for the hair, did it? <laughs> it's just funny. Fired all of her rockets at two of my ships. Even if she would focus on a single one, I don't think I would take any damage whatsoever. Just because, yeah, as I said before, I'm just so awesome. She is simply so bad. Not much more to add to that. Kingsport finished some stuff, that's good. You're going for the snail shell. Because you can, apparently. And let's get some more influence area, area around the system, because hey, why not? And because, maybe probably because it would be useless, but still, <laughs> I don't really care. As I stated many, 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 many times before. Okay, can I end my turn now? Yes, I can, thank you very much. Well, as soon as this standby and in progress thing is going to end, I'm going to check how close am I to each victory condition. It's not going to change, still I'm going to try my best to achieve victory as soon as possible. Either if it is by conquering the Krivus Homeworlds, then so be it. If it is not, then so be it. I'll just try my best. Actor has just finished doing some kind of upgrades. Oh, good and dandy, as I usually stand to say in this moment, not care at all. Another system also finished with this, those upgrades, this time it is fight us. Well, fight as this. And that's pretty much about it. Let's find yet another repetitive fleet. That's a really awesome hero, I think I said this before. But, really? No. Actually, I, this probably would look kinda nice, but... Yeah, I should not really have skipped this. Oh well. You just go into the system. It's still going to take you a while, but that's okay. That's fine. Uh, you actually, I want you stationed at the Volan system just so because in the f soon I will just skip the Terkana system and go straight into the Orion. I want to make sure that I have somebody to intercept the enemy fleet it if it is indeed necessary. It's just two Netherlands and three Diablos, but still it's kind of strong fleet regardless. And they finally managed to retrofit it, which is even better. Now, you have nothing to do but wait, so this is exactly what I'm going to do, what, what I'm going to go for. Now, as you can see, my allies are exploring the Pirate Empire. I think that no matter how big of a fleet they would set in there, it would be annihilated by the Empress. <laughs> Remember how Empress sometimes are very powerful in this beta now? Maybe even I would have some problems. You know what? Maybe instead of attacking the Kravis, I should attack the Pirates. It might be more of a challenge. 
Never mind, it's pathetic. Still. Okay, you, dear sir, are going to go for more defense. I don't really need defense at this point. Okay. Still, I don't want any of my nephews to die for stupid reasons. So, yeah, go for defense. Kuma! Kuma za Kuma! Rada rada rada. Uh, whatever. Colonize the hydrogen giant. That's very nice. You pawn some ships. This is a little bit more interesting, even though I'll still destroy them in exactly one or two shots. I'm not sure. It depends how the AI is going to focus fire from a shot. It is, if it is going to be spread evenly, then in a one shot. If not, then in two shots. Unfortunately, it is going to probably be two shots because the AI has a tendency of focusing on two ships at once at max. I just think it does, I might be horribly wrong on that one. Finally, we can hear the laser sounds! Often they were not playing, but now they did, and it sounded amazing if you managed to hear that one. If not, then well, I'm sorry. And yeah, the enemy died kind of fast, didn't they? And I can just hear a lot of missiles exploding right next to my ships because the asteroids interfered in the intervened with my camera angle and I was unable to see anything whatsoever. Still unable to start invading the system. This is mildly annoying. What can I do? Well, I guess I could do something. I simply don't know what. Maybe move my hero. This would be a nice idea. So you are moving. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now you got the system as well. Fight those large bishops. I'm going to keep calling them bishops too because I simply feel like it. I also do this bis stands for bishops rather than bis bismarcks. What does it stand for? I don't remember. Now, oh yeah, I definitely need defense. Actually, let's see how does dust two warheads look like. Maybe it looks cool. Maybe it doesn't, but I simply want to see it. Where's well, none repressed? There it is. So, unless they counter it, I'm going to see a new animation! They didn't counter it! And it looks pretty lame, just like adaptive strategy, except a little bit less particle effects are involved. So, yeah, nothing too impressive right there. Uh, but, oh well. At least I know for the future not to get dust warheads just for the particle appears, because they are not too impressive. Dust bear definitely looks cooler, at least for me. It's kind of a personal preference, really. But yes, finally! Thank you, game. Thank you. We're going to start conquering this world, but since this is the end of the enemy fleets, I might as well start moving towards the Orion's belt. Many black reference match. Do I have the movement to get into here in the stern? That's, no, I didn't want you to do that. Ah! Why? Whatever. <coughs> it's not like it but <coughs> yes. That was a short period of me dying. Don't you worry. Not like it, no, ever anybody would cry after my death. Don't worry. Maybe some people would pretend to. Okay, I will not be like that. Some people would probably cry. Which makes me just so happy. At best. Actually, it does. So, can I end the turn in he right here? Yes, I can. I'm just curious. No art first, to be expected. Fleet, apparently somebody has more ships than I do, which is kind of scary because somebody is just spamming useless ships. That's probably so for all. Horatio, though, so I don't really care. Expansion victory is still pretty far away, so I have to conquer the enemy system if I want this to end relatively fast. Economic victory, well, I am at one fourth there. And diplomatic victory. 22%, almost one fourth as well, but still pretty far away. I love the music in this game. It's not incredibly amazing, it's not amazing, it's just very good. And it fits the game perfectly, I believe. It's just the kind of ambient music that you like to hear. You don't necessarily turn it on on the old times, but it's definitely good. I like listening to it, and I think that's all that matters. And it fits the game, which also is very important, at least in my book. You are still conquering, that's very good. And you just start conquering, that's very good as well. Now, Bob, 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 
has some new upgrades out there already, which is what I'm going to go for when I uh, did I click that. Actually, why enough wouldn't I? It's not like it matters any anymore. But yeah, my OCD is that's the answer to all OCD. Nothing more than that. Can I please? I, I definitely can increase my empire approval. Even to 55%, this is very cool. And if the trade that we sim uh, had a look at not too long ago, the United Empire trade that gives you, that uh, whenever your tax rate is above 50, it gives you a bonus uh, to industry. If this is true, then I have really no idea how they want to achieve this kind of tr uh, happiness. I mean, it took me so long to be able to just go to 55% tax rate. I mean, then again, yes, I do expand a lot and this is why my happiness was at max anytime earlier, sooner, whatever, but still, let's just see who is on top. I mean, I am on top, obviously, and wow, way ahead, and surprisingly enough, Cravers are still on the second place, so far as uh, catching up, but nevertheless, I'm surprised. Horatio, unsurprisingly, technically they are still alive and they are in the lead, but only because everybody else is dead. So they are the worst nation currently and they will stay that way. Which is good, I never liked Horatio much, because not only they are humans, so I have to hate them, but also they look disturbing. And they love their looks. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You don't look beautiful, you look bizarre, I would say. I think that fits the, uh, their look. They, Looks well. Bizarre is the word. Now you are going to have. I believe this might be actually the last fight of this uh, playthrough, because as you can see, Orion is going to fall relatively soon. My hero apparently has a lot of melee on him, which shouldn't be surprising considering the way I have been giving him melee upgrades over and over and over again. This time I will go for. Is there any animation I haven't seen yet? No, I have seen every single one of them. So let's just go for. You know what, let's just go for nothing and see what happens. Maybe there is a kind of penalty for not going for any battle auctions. There was none in Alpha and I don't think there should be any penalty, but let's just see. Okay, apparently the enemy does have ultimate defense, not like it matters because the enemy ships have no shields installed on them, so the ultimate defense boosts the shields by 25%, about 25% of zero is still going to be zero, so yeah. Definitely going to win this one. Without a doubt. Awkward silence! Me not talking! I should improve it! And I'm doing some st stupid stuff yet again. Nothing new, nothing new. Nihil Navi. Alright, my hero has won my battle. Wow, totally did not see that one coming. And we are about to win this game. Man, I am excited. And I'm going to drink juice just because of that. Yeah. Mm. So, as I said before, because this playful seems to be getting a really decent, uh, what do you call it, feedback from you, I am probably going to do more of those, if you want me to. If not, then I, do, I will do pretty much whatever you want me to, I mean, if it has something to do with video games, don't get me wrong, or Korea, but I don't know what it would be that you would want me to do that is related to Korea and YouTube in any way, shape or form, but anyway, it is most probable that I'll simply continue making endless space playthroughs, uh, but if you have any ideas what I should go for, what race to go for next, it, is there any gameplay option you want to go for, then voice that in the comments. One thing I do want to disclose, disclose, is that a proper usage of this phrase, I don't know, anyway, is that definitely after this very video, because it is probably going to be the last video of this playful as I said before so after this uh, video uh, surfaces the air I will have to let my intern uh, my computer rest out of it because since the very beginning of this playthrough since day one of it my computer has been on for this whole time either recording the game 
converting the footage that got or uploading it to YouTube. So my PC definitely could use some rest right now. I'm kind of impressed in it didn't blow up already. So yeah, the PC needs some rest. And I, well, I don't really need some rest because this is rest right now, right here. But I do have a lot of other stuff to do. So I think it might, I might take a few days back, not more, not any more than that. Maybe three or four days, something like that. I also want to give you all a chance to watch those videos, right? Because some of you might have been watching them all along. Some of them might be new to my channel. And in the off chance that you actually enjoy my work, you might, to, you might want to watch this entire playthrough. So anyway, I'm going to wait for a couple of, day, of days, see what your feedback is, what kind of work you want to see me do, or anything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All I wanted to say, really. Bellatrix, I had care about it, you stupid piece of system. Let's go for this, and this, and, and that's all, really. Alright. Is that all? No, don't come on! Empire approval content. <sighs> Stupid new planets. Why well, can't I just throw them into the black hole? <laughs> Actually, what well, this would be pretty stupid, what would be cool is a total annihilation of a population on a uh, set system, just so you don't get any negative pop uh, population disapproval. It is kind of sick, I have to admit, this kind of genocide, but in terms of gameplay, it would be definitely buff, it would definitely be valid. Or maybe, well actually, I guess Pilgrims have this trait that allows you to, you know, evacuate people from a planet, so I guess Pilgrims could do this, like, they conquer a system and they evacuate people from it to one of their systems, so it would be kind of a scorched air tactic. And I just realized I can't win this game by conquering the home system of Kravis because I would also have to conquer home systems of Sophons and Horatia as well. And. <laughs> Pilgrims as well, oh <laughs> yeah. So. That's going to fall. I don't even care, I just want to win. If they have any kind of more impressive fleet, then maybe, but it isn't impressive by any stretch of the imagination, no. You know what? Let's go for the science victory and as well as non science victory. So let's see what happens first. So I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting this game to end in this very turn, but then I realized that that's not going to happen, so. Uh uh. I still have a Temple of Finance, did not upgrade this one. That's kind of pathetic by me, but whatever, it doesn't matter at all. Going to give it this upgrade, this upgrade, this upgrade, this upgrade, this upgrade. And that's good enough for now. Now, let's choose four most productive systems at my disposal. Alright. <laughs> Two thousand thirty-three production, a thousand and six hundred fifty-three production. Now this is a lot. Okay, this is for how many of those structures do I need? Four or five? Five. Okay, that's good enough. Will I be able to suc to succeed to achieve success in this very turn? Maybe we'll see how that turns out. Oh, if it does happen, this would, this, this would, would be awesome. I started even wrapping, I guess. <laughs> Next time I got to win in a completely different way than I usually did. So it's going to be very interesting. Oh, and why did I speed those battles? Well, I thought I'm going to have more of them in the future. Poor decision by me, but oh well, we had a lot of battles anyway, and I don't think those would be any kind of surprisingly enjoyable ones because, yet again, it would be just horribly one sided. So, let us wait for the victory that is inevitably, uh, inevitably coming right now. We can make a count of five, four, three, two, one, victory! Yes? No? Yes? I have five of those buildings. Do I need to have five copies on a single planet? No. 
So... I have five! Game! <laughs> don't tell me it's not working yet. Please don't tell me nobody implemented the system yet, just yet. Five copies of this implement. I have five copies of this implement. Okay, um, let's build six. Because apparently I need more than five. Or maybe it simply doesn't work at all, which is also a possibility. It would be kind of sad, or rather really sad. Yeah, as you can hear, I stopped even commentating. That's because I'm disappointed. I was expecting to win in this turn. I didn't. Why, Mr. Anderson, why? Just to have a battle with a single bishop? Come on now. I just care about this. Dismiss. You start conquering this system, you... Start conquering this system, I guess. I don't even bo I care if they start trying to take back Orion or not. I don't think they can. But hey, hey, uh, next turn is going to be the last one, right? I mean, it's not like I'm trying to speed this through or anything, but I wanted to see a new like, victory. I mean, I've never seen a victory by building the five copies of this very structure. I never even reached it in my science uh, development. So I'm really curious. And, um, and nothing. There we go. Finally, Wonder Victory Glory! Your empire has built five times the invulnerable empire. Not since the time of the endless has the galaxy such wonders, seen such wonders. The cost in time, sweat, and dust has been great. Not really, I, it took me a single turn. <laughs> and the sacrifices made are too numerous to count. Like this, this guy named Bob. He crashed his uh, finger while he was putting a nail into this construction and we had to get him into a hospital. It had quite badly, I guess, but he should be all right. But with your will, you have created a master, um, masterments whose fame will echo through history and your name shall echo with it. Just pal Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. That was creepy. So, I have won yet again another game of Endless Space. Needless to say, this gives you some s incredible ego boost that you can only dream about if you have not bought the game yet. And if you haven't, then what on earth are you waiting for? It still has a discount on Steam. It's not as big as it was when it was in the alpha state, but it still has a discount. So, better safe than sorry, buy it now. Anyway, yeah. It feels good, man. It feels good. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for completing this wonderful adventure with me. A whole play for us, Amoeba. From beginning till the end, we conquered the stars by constructing some incredible wonders, apparently. Killing everybody who was standing in our way. And so on and so forth. It was fun. And it was Panchasu, the mighty mix spammer. Who has been guiding you through this very journey? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this playthrough, if you enjoyed this very video, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Most of all, regardless of if you enjoyed what you've seen or not, leave a comment, please. I really do value them, all of them. And yet again, it has been an amazing time with you, all of you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching yet again. And I'll see you all online.